part 39. Now we have another subject chapter, the subject of Mystery Babylon, and it will start from the time where before we heard that whenever the 144,000 were caught up in Revelation chapter 14, it says Babylon is fallen, is fallen. And it starts at the beginning here, just like every other subject chapter, starts at the beginning and goes to the end. In 66 AD, the Roman armies came to Jerusalem. And Jesus was seen on the clouds with his saints, first resurrection. And in chapter 14, it tells you that whenever this happened, an angel flies throughout heaven and says, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. And this is the story of how this happened. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted with her glory, again, the land of Israel. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Why say that? Because the believers were to get out of Jerusalem. So now, it's just unclean spirits there, ruling her. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the land or earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because again, 66 AD, they were told to flee before all of these things came on them, all these plagues and the trumpets and the vials. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. And then he says, Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double, according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Because they were ruling and reigning with Christ in 66 AD, whenever Babylon, all the believers fled, and they became the habitation of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. But the saints were with Christ in the air, ruling and reigning with him, and rewarding unto her double, because she killed the saints and the prophets and the martyrs of Jesus, and they gave them up to Rome to be killed. Says how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's exactly what these guys did. The unbelieving Jews rejected Jesus Christ. They said, God's not going to destroy this temple. The law says this and the law says that. Jesus wasn't the Messiah. That's not going to happen. Let's fight the Romans. We'll win. We'll win. But they rejected Christ. So therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord which judgeth her. And the kings of the earth, who committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her, and they shall see the smoke of her burning. Stay tuned.